All right, guys, get over 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here in the shop and, uh, well, we're getting ready to install a trigger system. But before we do, I just wanted to kind of show you some really cool stuff. Uh, so anyhow, check this thing out. This is a Benelli M2 three gun edition. This guy's been, uh, we've uh, nicknamed this guy the, the, the whore, actually. Uh, simply because it's gone from Pop's Quest to X-Ring and into myself. But look at this handguard. This is the three-gun competition tactical handguard made by a company called, oh, God, Briley. <laughs> Briley. And uh, I will tell you this. It's M-Lock all the way across this thing. I'm really looking forward to uh, putting this thing to the test. And we've got a really good surprise coming to you probably the next month or so that will basically conclude my three-gun competition firearms as far as rifle shotgun and pistol so in any case uh yeah a lot of you guys see me shooting uh rifles and everything else but uh shotgun is probably one of my absolute favorites and best things that i am good at i love this thing bow, bow, bow. okay so anyway let's get on with it let's show you a couple other things that we've got going on here yeah uh, well we're gonna get to it this guy right here this is the aim surplus single stage ar trigger and but before we do that check this out now i'm showing this because this was that painted ar that you saw the other day and one of the things that i was going to do because i've got a bunch of those stencils from primary arms is i was wanting to repaint this thing i really really wasn't pleased with the not just the, the color was fine but the texturing when i painted this originally it was really really humid out and unfortunately what happened was it, it it bubbled it not bubbled up but it created like a texture on it i hated it so uh i decided to go ahead and strip it off this morning but when i was stripping it off it's, it's a hell of a job to go ahead and strip the paint off one of these things but look at the what i i started doing it and then i was like wait a minute now y'all probably think i'm halfway stupid for doing it but uh i kind of dig the way that looks man i don't know and I'll, I'll probably just paint up another rifle. But the other reason this rifle is out is because, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but these two handguards, these are the same exact handguards. One is, well, they're same length. One's painted, one's not. One's got a 14 and a half inch barrel. This is an 18 and a half inch barrel. Also, I wanted to keep this rifle out because the trigger system that's in this rifle is a Geisley SSA Enhanced. And I wanted to show you guys what that trigger pull look like this is two stage now up and back and then the reset and we're going to use that as kind of a uh a standard in which to compare stuff to all right so let's just go ahead and put this guy away for right now and let's talk about the aim surplus single stage ar trigger now what we're going to do is i'm going to install it into the system and that's one of the reasons why i don't have the safety selector switch in here also if you guys notice on this rifle, the uh, Cujo, I did relocate the uh, rear sight back a little further back to the rear, and it works out really nice. But somebody had mentioned that that rifle looks like it's a little front heavy. I'm going to show you something. That is me balancing the rifle. Oops. <laughs> a little, maybe not really a whole lot front heavy. But in any case, uh, if I balance it right put my finger right there on that pick rail look at that hold on that rifle is perfectly balanced perfect so anyway whoever said that uh yeah but what we'll do at the end of the day because this is cujo's final little deal we'll go ahead and give it a final way it's not a lot of light ar by any means but it is carrying a lot of features okay let's talk about this real quickly this is aim surplus uh, three and a half pound pull, proudly made in the USA. For installation tips, visit Aim Surplus Products. Uh, all right. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure that said firearm is unloaded and clear. And this firearm is well, there's nothing to release. So we'll go ahead and remove our pins. And because YouTube and all their wonderfulness. I'm probably going to have to skip the install of this thing, but let's go ahead and pull this thing apart anyway so we can get this part taken care of. Also, guys, I got a blue line on there. I know some people were actually upset about that. I support cops who are pro-Constitution. I don't support cops who uh, throw the Constitution out the window because 
they feel like they're badasses at the time. Okay, so if you got a problem with that, well, it's not my, it's your problem, not mine. Okay, so what we got here? Uh, first of all, these guys sent this out to me because we're doing a a full blown comparison. Now, just to let you know, I know we haven't even talked about this particular trigger, but uh, I'm going to put the I've got a playlist of all the triggers that I've ever done reviews on uh, all the way back to the very beginning of Coda Boy 32 when I was using the the old dear uh, you know the uh, Minnesota voice there uh, <laughs> a lot of guys say I sound like Rex reviews but in any case let's go ahead and get on down to this thing real quick let's zoom this in all right so my, my first impressions of this trigger is wow this is nice now $99 on their website uh, one of the things that I will tell you that uh, they actually sent this out for me to do a comparison. And like I said earlier, I've got a playlist of all the triggers that I actually have or I have done reviews on. Now, the cool part about the playlist is down the road, we're actually going to do this thing called Trigger Bowl. And Trigger Bowl is going to consist of a competition and comparison of all the Tier 1 triggers out there. And then we're also going to do a comparison of all the triggers that are, say, within the $100, $120 range, $129. So I just don't feel it's fair to compare one of these with, like, say, a Trigger Tech Diamond. Uh, $300 trigger, $100 trigger. Now, that being said, $100? Are you kidding me? Look at this. Hold on, I'm going to hold that up to you so you can see what's going on. Look at the milling on the housing all the way around. Beautiful, and it looks like an anodized finished or polished. Not exactly sure. I like a flat, flat face trigger, as you can see right there. Look at that. Strengthen the rib on the back because being ribbed is good for her protection, her enjoyment. But look at this guy. Now, we'll go ahead and put it into the rifle here in a second. Let me go ahead and bring that, bring it out. There we go. Um, well, that's kind of cool. So, let's see the inside really nice the milling is awesome I mean full strength spring it I don't know that you could keep it any simpler than that it comes lubed ready to go uh, the tail tall sign is to put it in the rifle and see how it performs and we're gonna do a trigger test on that and then in another video we're gonna go ahead and take this whole entire package out to show you exactly how it performs the rifle as a whole now traditionally in say a defensive combat style rifle I kind of like to put the geyserlies in there's a couple of them laying around here but in any case uh, that's it standard size pins it does not come with the pins uh, got your beautiful aim surplus I actually have a nickel boron aim surplus bolt carry group that I run in a rifle from many many years ago they did hold on don't want to lose all this stuff. They did send out this guy right here. This is the Gun Tech anti rotational stuff uh, pen set, which I thought would actually look pretty cool on this rifle. So let's go ahead and without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing uh, put together and uh, take our trusty uh, Lyman trigger tester thingy here. Check out the trigger pull and the reset. Here we go. Stand by. Okay, so we got this thing installed. One thing I would like to mention is that the Allen wrench screw that they sent out stripped out. I had to go ahead and pull another one. Where the heck did it go? It's a T10. And, uh, yeah, a couple around the table. But in any case, uh, that's what we're looking at right there. Isn't that nice looking? That's what it looks like installed. Looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and zero that in a little bit. You guys can see what's going on. Very nice. Now, uh, just to let you know, the Gun Tech uh, anti-rotational stuff, these things are only like, uh, I think, 11 bucks. So if you do, go ahead and order that. But let's take a look at this thing. The trigger, there's absolutely zero take up on it. Okay, here we go. That's it. Huh. There's the reset. Interesting. My dog's barking in the background. Okay, so let's go ahead, put this thing on the upper.
Wow. I like the way that feels. Nice reset. It feels springy. Huh. $99. Wow. Okay. One more time. Let's go ahead and pull out the uh, trusty trigger scales here and see uh, what this thing's going to pull at. Now, my usual finger placement on that trigger is usually right about there on the bottom with about a quarter inch up. Two pounds, 3.8 ounces. Two pounds, 5.8 ounces. Two pounds, 4.2. Pretty consistent, but here's the impressive part. Guys, trigger pulls one thing, but like I've always preached, the reset is pretty good. There is no take up. That's nice. I don't know who's manufacturing these things for these guys, but that's a nice trigger. I may have to invest in a couple more of these. I do like the way it looks. It's It's got that anodized look. It adds to the firearm itself. I think I'm actually in love. All right, well, guys, that's it. Uh, we'll go ahead and take this thing out on the range and test it out later on. But I just wanted to, and I didn't actually tighten up the uh, set screws on the bottom. If we got these uh, anti-rotational pins right here. Really not a need for it, in my opinion. But that's it. Aim surplus, single stage AR trigger, uh, not three and a half pounds, but just Ted under two and a half. And man, oh man, oh man. Yeah, I'm digging it. It's Code Boy 32. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't earned a gun so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. I have no idea where these little rubber things are coming from, but they're everywhere now. Go to 132. I'm out. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. <laughs> what does this complete rifle weigh? Well, hold on one second. Let's just see. Oops. Eight pounds, 6.3 ounces. Eight pounds, 6.3 ounces. Like I said, Perfectly balanced. Beautifully balanced. Lovely. <laughs>